coach, I guess, just what are your initial reactions of the draw you got and of just being back in Mark Madness? I just went in and told our team I couldn't be more proud of a group of guys. Um, this is so new to me again, you know, being a little year over a year and a half now into this job. But these guys from last season made a major jump this year to where, where we played in, had to play in a game to get to the tournament, and now you're a fourth seed. So I couldn't be more proud of a group of guys, but – with that being said, we still got a lot of basketball left, and we drew a great team, I think, in Kent State, who's had a hell of a season as well, that's well coached. So I don't know a whole lot about them, but I'll start today my process in terms of trying to put a game plan together to play this, those guys. Alex? Coach, uh, you just came off of uh, the Big Ten tournament, which is slight disappointment there, but gives you an extra day of rest to prepare. I don't know if that helps you at all, but it gives you an extra day. You want to lose three more three in the year? Pick and tie the school history after winning the cup. What's going on? Yeah, I don't know if someone else is calling. All right. The extra day of preparation, what does what does that do for you guys going into this tournament? You know who you're playing now, uh, even though it's someone you've not played before, but you get the extra day. How important is that? Well, I think rest, you know, coming off the Big Ten tournament, it gives us an opportunity to rest some legs um, and get everybody mentally focused on what the task is ahead of us. Um, you know, we'll tomorrow we'll come in and we'll break down, starting today really, break down K-State and uh, Kent State rather, and um, and get ready. You know, I mean, it's there's a lot that goes into preparing for an NCAA tournament game. And, you know, your opposing team, they're, they're doing all their prep work on us. Um, and we just got to make sure that we're on, we're in tune as a team, you know, when we step out on that floor Friday that we're ready to go. Hey, Mike, uh, what have you learned from uh, coaching in the tournament last year that uh, you might apply to this year, both what you uh, thought was good and what you thought uh, you needed to improve on from your first experience coaching last season? Well, again, you know, we, you know, I thought we played well against Wyoming. Uh, the trip was kind of crazy getting out to Portland, but I never once used that as an excuse. We just, we looked very lethargic and, and sluggish against St. Mary's, and that's not taking anything away from them because they they had a hell of a season last season and, and they ha have had a great season this season. So, we got beat by a good team that was well coached, and you know, you know, I just got I gotta think that this year these guys who who was with us last season they tasted it, um, just like the Big Ten tournament we tasted it last season, and I just couldn't get us over the hump, you know. And Penn State played extremely well, um, but now that's behind us. Uh, the seniors that we have, they're going to have to step up, Race and Miller and, and Trace, and really help guide them and push this team through because that's what it's going to take. And the supporting cast has got to be ready to play when called upon to, uh, to, um, to give all they got as well because that's what it's going to take. Each and every game you go out, it's a game of inches in, in tournament play and you know, I can relate back to when I was in in college. Hell, we lost to Villanova at the buzzer after being up the whole game. Um, I mean, nobody wants to go home in mad, March Madness, and I get it. And that's why you got to be ready to play every minute, every second of of every game that you get an opportunity to play. Alex. Coach, uh, 
Coach, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. I'm curious, when you have such a short prep time for a team uh, in this situation, how do you kind of go about, uh, as a staff, breaking down the film and figuring out kind of the game plan as you lead into, obviously, an opponent that you said you don't know a ton about right now? Well, it was shorter last season. Uh, when you, you think about what we had to go through to get where we got. Um, but we do have three days. We don't play until Friday, so we'll have four days really to get ready for our opponent. And uh, um, that's enough time, I think. Um, so we just got to come committed tomorrow. You know, they'll, we'll let them sleep in, and then we'll have a late practice tomorrow, and then we'll get – We'll get going on Kent State. Mike, Mike Schumann and Zach. Yeah, hey, Coach. Um, you know, I know before you've said you stayed close to the IU program when you were in the NBA. I'm curious if you got to know Kent State's head coach, Rob Senderoff, when, when he was an assistant in Bloomington or, you know, also in the same bracket as Kelvin Sampson with Houston. Did, did you get to know those guys when, you, when they were at IU? I mean, I, I met Calvin. I came back in. Uh, I spoke to the team briefly, uh, but the assistant coach, no, I, I'm sure I probably met him if he was here in passing, but I couldn't tell you who he, who he is or anything like that. Um, but he was here when I, when uh, Calvin was here, you said? Yeah, the Kent State head coach. Oh, okay. Under Samson. Well, he's had a hell of a season with his ball club. I know that. Mike, this is kind of a weird way of asking this, but a guy like Trace, in your experience, is there benefit from getting out of the Big Ten and, and basically just a guy that can affect the game in so many different ways when you're playing teams that don't have the learned behavior of having scouted him once before in the season or maybe played him in previous years? How, how much more difficult of a cover, essentially, is he when teams may not have that muscle memory of having played him before? It could be a tough coverage, but make no mistake about it, Kent State will do their homework on our ball club. I mean, that's what coaches, that's what we do as a coach, coaching staff. Uh, and at the end of the day, he's still going to be double teamed like he has been all season uh, because of the fact that he's good at what he does in terms of putting the ball in the hole and making plays for people around him. So, um I don't see that changing, so I got to prepare for that uh, throughout the tournament. I mean, once we adv if we advance, which you know it's going to take a lot of hard work to advance. I mean, that's what tournament play is about: trying to advance. And each game is a is a journey. And you know, even though we haven't played this team before, they're not in our conference. They'll do their homework on our team as well as us doing our homework on them. Well, Coach, thank you very much.